OK, this is Declan Canning. Declan and his wife Alison run a small business. And uh, you guys see uh, or think or believe or are going to be affected by this ULES scheme. Can you tell us in, in what way? Morning to you both. Good morning. Um, well, the main thing is our van for work is, isn't compliant. There's nothing wrong with it. But according to Mr Khan, I have to get rid of it. So for us to renew our van is not a financial financial option for us at the moment, unfortunately. So how old is your van? Presumably it works perfectly well operationally. It's just purely its emissions that are, that are problematic. And how much will it earn you if you try to resell it? And what will it cost to replace? Um, well, it's eight years old. Um, but the problem now is uncompliant vehicles, the market's dropped. And compliant vehicles, the market's grown. So, again, it's just not a financial option that we can afford to do. So what? Happens? Yeah, because nobody wants a van that doesn't fit the regulations, do they? That's no. right, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that leaves you, um, the van's not worth what it should be, and that leaves a bigger deficit as to replacing it, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. And then there's our family car as well which isn't compliant. So <laughs> we're, we're hit left, right and centre at the moment. <laughs> um, presumably there's a market for non-compliant vehicles outside of ULES areas, so, you know, parts of the UK that aren't sort of highly populated, like London and Bristol, whatever else, or Oxford. Um, you know, you hopefully will get something for your vehicles. Um, we yeah, hope so. But, again, to actually get the van that we need to be compliant... Um, Basically, he's just he's making us unemployed. I think. Gosh. And, and what do you? What would you say to to um, the London mayor? I mean, he would argue very strongly that emissions in the city contribute to thousands of premature deaths. That it's poisoning us all. That there's scientific evidence that emissions can lead to all sorts of things, not just breathing problems, but dementia, or heart disease, all the rest of it. I mean, he argues that very strongly. Do you see that side of it, or is it just purely the, the business angle that you're concerned about? No, I can understand where he's coming from in terms of trying to lower the emissions as such. Um, but I'd like to see hard data rather than just him telling me that that's the situation. So, Alison, how would you sum it up? I mean, have you got anger about all of this or is it just worry? Uh, it's a bit of both, really. It is It is worry, obviously. What are we going to do come August? We're not going to be able to afford a new van, new car. Um, Declan also has a hobby for classic cars, so they're going to have to go. We won't be able to afford that. Seriously? Well, see, uh, so, so, van, it's, it's, so, <laughs> it's ridiculous. So cla classic cars affected by all of this then as well? Yes, uh, up, some of them. <clears throat> uh, up, if they're 40 years old and older, they're OK. But 40 years and under, they're not. Yeah. What, what have you got that's 40 years old? Tell us what cars you've got. <laughs> uh, I've got an old transit van. Yeah. Mini van. Um, and uh, an Escort uh, convertible. Old school. So the Escort convertible isn't compliable. So then what Sorry. is the situation if you've got a vehicle that's not compliant? Then is it a charge or are they just banned from the roads? Uh, it's a charge. So, for example, if I come home from work, it's £12.50. If Alison goes to the supermarket, it's £12.50. Yeah. And if I want to go out in my classic car, it's £12.50. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it soon adds up, doesn't it? Uh, well, look, Declan uh, and yeah. Alison, thank you very much um, for sharing your story with us. Um, small business owners um, being affected by you, Les, very concerned about the impact of uh, this policy on their business. Thank you so much for talking to us. Oh.